lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Help me! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. The wine is ready. Your sister will pour. When they're all seated, you give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It would be a lie if I said otherwise. I appreciate your honesty. I'll need that from you if this is to work. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. Your brother is too unpredictable. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed. And I can't forget that he was the one who killed my brother. That was before. I'll see Griff exiled if that would put your mind at ease. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asher. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I knew I could trust you. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the poison. Consider it done, my lord. Ah. Elisa. 
I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Huh. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia, why don't you fetch the wine for his lordship? We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? What did you say? Something not very friendly, father. What are you up to, Forrester? You curtsy like your sister one moment, then act the blowhard the next. Do you even have any idea how thin the ice is here? Calm down, father. Ash has been amongst the sellsword so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. So, Lord Forrester, you made your way as a soul sword out there, did you? Hey, a little rape, a little murder, anything for the right price. <sighs> and your family must be so proud. And all those bed slaves a soul sword must enjoy across a narrow sea. Ah, oh, I can't imagine how my sister will be able to. Please, you. And you sat back on a horse when we last drew swords. But your family will sing about that for years. You've quite the mouth on you, Forrester. How'd you like me to shove my sword down it? Eh, not so much. Enough bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griff, and let's drink. A toast. We should make a toast. Aye. What shall we toast to? Come on then, let's hear it. To Gwyn, my betrothed. Without you, none of this could happen. To, to, to Gwyn. No, no, no. This isn't right. You first, then me. In the way of the North. Come, Forrester. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Let me. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. Iron from ice. Mother. Hmm. Not bad. <coughs> water. Bring me water. He's choking. Help him. You. You... You... F 
fucking poisoned me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 